So Microsoft has just released their 2023 Release Wave 2 enhancements of D365 and today we're going to be covering a top 10 list. So at number 10 we are going to be having something come to the sales app and that is going to be engage with your customers by invoking SMS chat from activities. This feature will enable ease of communication by increasing the number of touch points for users to invoke the SMS pane. Users can now start SMS conversations from the ribbon bar on the activities page. Let's go ahead and get into number nine on our list after we roll the intro. At number nine on our list, coming to the marketing app, we have quiet times and specifically being able to create quiet times using natural language through Copilot. If you're unfamiliar with what Copilot is, click on this video here. This is going to begin to break it down. There are a ton of different resources online as this is some of the biggest functionality coming to Microsoft Dynamics and the Power Platform in 2023. So make sure you check that out, stay up to date, because there are several on this list that are involving Copilot. So what are quiet times? Quiet times are a setting to ensure that your messages are only sent when you want them to be delivered. With quiet times, you can easily prevent messages from being delivered during, say, nights, weekends, or holidays. Some key feature details are going to be set up quiet time by channels, such as email, text message, push notification, and custom channels. Once you set up quiet times, all messages going out of your system are going to be checked against them automatically. If a user in the system were to send a message during a quiet time, that message is going to be stored and then delivered once the quiet time is up. So that way it's gonna be delivered first thing, say Monday morning, if the weekend was a quiet time. At number eight, we have something that's coming to the timeline. The timeline is a great feature to be able to track all of the activities related to a case, a, an account, a contact, a lead, opportunity. The list goes on and on and on. Now in the customer service app, what's coming is the ability to pin them in the timeline. What does that mean? Pinning an activity or a note is going to put it at the top of the timeline regardless of how far down you scroll. This is going to provide flexibility for your agents by allowing them to pin activities such as records to the top of the timeline so they can quickly access them later. I think something like this can be super helpful so if you are a consultant or a citizen developer out there make sure your clients get this turned on. Say being able to pin someone's notes to the top of the timeline that way when the whenever the record is loaded those are going to always be there could be super helpful helpful. Number seven. At number seven, we're going to be able to use AI in Outlook for field service for resource scheduling. Finding and scheduling the right frontline worker can be a lengthy, multi-step process. Now, an AI assistant recommends workers and time slots for the job. Some feature details, frontline managers and dispatchers can get recommendations to choose technicians or frontline workers to schedule work orders based on attributes like availability, skills, or expertise. If you look here at the screenshot here in the docs, in Outlook, you're gonna get what's called a schedule assistant. And clicking that is gonna show different suggestions on your resources, and it's gonna list out their skills and times they would be able to meet this repair. I think a feature like this just plainly increases customer efficiency. Customers want their systems to make their lives easier. This is going to be huge for anybody that's involved in the field service app because everybody knows that resource scheduling is one of the biggest tasks and managing those directly in Outlook is going to be huge. And now coming to our next Copilot feature, which a little secret, the rest of them are all related to Copilot. But now you're going to be able to generate summaries on account records, lead records, and opportunity records using natural language in Copilot. So on the right side of your screen, when you're in your app, you're going to see a Copilot widget. If you open that up, it's going to feel like a chat bot where you can then ask for a summary of a specific record. You don't have to be on that record to ask for the summary of that record. You can ask for a summary of that record anywhere in your app. With the account summary, sellers can now access a consolidated summary of vital customer data, including buyer behavior, associated opportunities and cases, and even the latest news about an account. With leads, sellers can now access a quick overview of leads, including D365 sales, even from Bing News, LinkedIn, etc. Opportunities are gonna provide a quick and comprehensive summary of key customer data, again, including buying behaviors, preferences, and their past purchases. 
Looking at the screenshot, you can see that this opportunity summary is providing different bullet points on the different metrics that it pulled from the record. I do believe there is a way to customize which points that it's referring to, which data points it's looking at. I am not too sure how you're able to do that yet. I don't think Microsoft has completely explained that. I do know that Copilot will restrict what it gives a user if their security prohibits that as well. So what do I mean by that? I mean Copilot is not going to give a user access to a record or a summary of a record that they don't already have read access to. So Copilot is still restricted by security. Users will not be able to trump their security privileges just by asking Copilot for a summary of a record in the system. At number five, on the field service app, we have AI powered work order recaps. This is gonna operate similar to our account lead and opportunity summaries, but is now gonna be in the field service app for work orders. So users, when wherever they are in the app, are going to be able to click on the co-pilot widget and pull up the chat and ask for a recap or a summary of the work order. AI powered work order recaps help service managers quickly access a summary of the work order and its related data. Again, boosting efficiency and improving customer satisfaction. I hope I'm not beginning to sound like a broken record talking about Copilot over and over and over, but it really is just that cool. Some of the possibilities with Copilot and what they are bringing out here in the next few months is crazy. If you are unaware of what Copilot is or feel like you don't have a deep enough understanding, let me tell you, make sure you check out this video. This is gonna begin to explain and point you to some different Microsoft resources on what Copilot is and begin to slowly introduce you to that. So number four, we have gearing up for meetings with AI generated preparation notes. So coming to the sales app, we have the ability to ask Copilot, what are my upcoming meetings? What are some notes on my upcoming meetings? And it's gonna provide a summary of your upcoming meetings. Like, what? Copilot in D365 sales uses generative AI to help sellers focus on the key points collected from various sources, making meetings more meaningful and productive. Copilot in sales detects meetings coming up in the next 24 hours and prompts the customer to prepare for them. Copilot in sales offers a summary of all recent email exchanges and the last 10 notes to help you prepare. I know there are so many sales teams and sales team members out there that are managing several different accounts, contacts, leads, where they have different leads and in, in different steps in the sales process. Being able to ask Copilot for a quick summary of all your meetings for the next 24 hours and it looking at several different records and even types of records in the system to provide that for you. And so then that way, sellers can take less time preparing for meetings and more time executing in those meetings. Number three, create work orders in Outlook and Teams using AI. This is gonna to belong to the field service app. Frontline workers and managers can create, view, and manage work orders within Microsoft 365 applications, now including Microsoft Outlook, by harnessing the power of generative AI to deliver accelerated work order creation. With this feature, you can create work orders with Copilot in Outlook and Teams. The AI-based Copilot can assist with extracting relevant details from emails and texts and filling in data to the work order form based on the text in the email thread. So this is gonna be able to automatically detect when an email is suggesting work order creation and then prompt all of the data points in that email into your work order form. And then that way all the user has to do is hit create record. But moving on to number two, create journeys by describing them using Copilot. In the marketing app, you can simply describe in natural language, in everyday words, what you want to create and rely on Copilot to build the journey for you. This empowers you to do more with less. Using the journey creator functionality together with content ideas for email creation, you can now get your customer experience ideas to market in literally no time. No worries though, if you have Copilot create a customer journey for you, you're still able to edit absolutely everything in there and make sure that what it's done is what you actually wanted. So as always, highly gonna recommend that, but this is gonna take out a ton of the legwork of just getting the different journey steps on there. All you have to do is just type in natural language. 
It's also going to show you a preview of the journey that Copilot created and give you a detailed summary of the journey before you can begin adding your content. And now, without further ado, our number one top enhancement coming in the 2023 Wave 2 release is the ability to draft emails and messaging replies with a click using Copilot. This is going to be coming to the customer service app and with Copilot, service agents can craft personalized contextual email replies with just a click. Customer service agents can choose from predefined response prompts or even provide custom prompts for complex customer emails. Say you've been a long email thread with an account or a contact, Copilot is going to use all of that context from all of the previous emails to formulate its response. It's not going to say something that maybe it already had shared previously. It's going to take that information and curate their response just for this account. You can still fine tune and edit the suggested email reply before you send it to the customer. Always, once again, definitely make sure you proofread, especially as Copilot is being rolled out. They are going to be bringing some enhancements, but this is going to cut out a ton of the legwork. Say a service agent is typing out their email. They might be typing 30 words a minute. They're proofreading, they're thinking, they're, they're checking their grammar, they're fixing a typo. This is going to generate the entire email in seconds, and then all they have to do is proofread it, make it, maybe make a change here, add an exclamation point here, and send it. I do even know that you can provide suggestions to the co-pilot where it's saying, hey, here's our response, and you can say, make it more fun, and it will make it more fun. Or you could say, add this information about the account, and it will add this information. You don't even have to do that manually, but you still can. I hope you guys are as psyched as I am about this list and the functionality that is coming. It is so cool to be working in Dynamics and in Power Platform at this time with all of these new enhancements coming out. I feel like it is just a new generation of functionality through this generative AI capabilities and just being able to capture and harness that and bring that to clients is really cool. If you're wondering where you can find the release notes, I have the link in the description down below. You can use that to go directly to the release notes and this is gonna be for all of Dynamics. So I challenge all of you guys, make sure you read through the rest of the release notes. There are way more things than just what I covered here. If you had a different opinion on say the list or something that I did not mention, please let me hear it in the comments down below. I would love to hear what features and enhancements you are looking forward to the most and what you're excited to configure and build and bring towards clients. Make sure you're in the know of what is coming and so you can begin to think about how you can implement these on your projects. As always guys, my name is Griffin Lickfeld and this is the Citizen Developer Channel. If you liked what you saw here, consider subscribing. I appreciate the support and as always, see you in the next one.